All right, it's wet today. Rained out. Probably going to be rained out Thursday and Friday, but what? Which today is Thursday, so we're all rained out today. So I got me some mud flats. These are some uh, Mopar stuff. I got some for the front and the back of the truck to help keep the mud off my um, steps there on the front. But on the back, the main thing is is putting so much up on my uh, trailer with my Ranger. Like if I go down a gravel road, so that should be a big help. Tires need to be rotated on the truck anyhow. So a perfect time to do this and get these on there. So I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tires off and rotate them at the same time because it'll be a lot easier to put them on with the tires off anyhow. So I'm gonna kind of kill two birds with one stone. So these tires with uh, 10,000 miles on them, right at 10,000, they're they're in perfect shape. And you, these are the uh, Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Uh, no issues at all with them so far. They've been been very happy with them. This bolt right on, I'm gonna punch one hole right there and put a uh, pot rivet. It's got a plastic style pot rivet to go in there. That's all it is to it. Easy peasy. All right, so that one is on there. Now we're gonna get the one on the front up here. All right, I just got the front one on here. They fit pretty decent coming from Ram. Got a little bit of a gap right there on the bottom, but. Uh, It'll help keep that mud from getting up there on top of that step. So stick his front tire back on and get that. It's got another spot for for a bolt right there, but I'm not going to put one in there because it's got it's got them underneath right here too, where it holds them holds them on. My OCD wouldn't allow me not to put it in. I had to put it in, so there it is. So that don't look too bad. I would have figured that the fit would have been a little bit better on the OEM stuff, but uh, it is what it is. The biggest thing I want to do is just stop some of that stuff where this is not too bad. It will get a lot worse than this, and you can see where it's coming up on the door right there, so that'll stop that. But man, my trailers, golly, it was bad on, on them. Like right now, as wet as it is, if I were to hit one of them gravel roads, it would just, it would just cover my straps. Even if I was to slow down and just creep, you know, at seven, eight miles an hour, it was uh, bad. So, got the tires uh, rotated. Like I said, I got ten thousand, right at ten thousand miles on them now. Very happy uh, with these, with the ride that I'm getting out of them. There's, there's no cup, and this is the one that come off the front. You can see the edges right there still look very very nice uh, so 
I'll probably stick with the with the Nitos from uh, here on out. They do really well uh, pulling wise in the mud too. I've been very happy with that, and because uh, you you're only gonna do so much with one of these trucks in the mud anyhow. And I try to stay. I try to avoid as much as I can. But sometimes we're on that red clay and it's real slick. But very happy with uh, with the way that they're looking right now. Yeah. We'll walk in here to the back. You can see, you don't even really hardly see them there. I like how they come out to the side a little bit right there. But on these, you just had to put one plastic pot rivet in there. I went back and put that other one in the in this one over here too, right there. Which a normal rivet gun, those rivets won't fit in. I had to go borrow my neighbor's bigging and thing with that. You can't hardly fit it up on the back right there. Well, I'm going to show you. Oh, here's my gun. I've got four. Four different collets for that thing. And that biggest one still wouldn't fit those rivets there. So, it is what it is. I got her done. That's all that matters. Y'all see this doe right here? I am going to blast her. I have watched her all season. She is some kind of busy man, I'll tell you. I just killed a big one. I mean, a really big one. Dude's got some mass, too. We'll go check him out right quick. I smoked a good one. Look at the mass on that dude. Look at his horns right there. Look at that. He's not wide, but look at that mass. One, two, three, four, six, seven. That's a stud right there, son. Look at the body on that thing, dude. Good gracious. Yeah, let's see. Let me get that lean out of the way. All right.
That's a heck of a deer right there. Hey, he's got points everywhere. We got eight on this one side right here. A winch worked good. So the old mudflats, I've been running them half a week now, a little over half a week. They've worked uh, very well because, I mean, it's rained ever since I uh, put them on. Matter of fact, it rained uh, a lot last night. The tornado, they had a tornado over there around Birmingham, around Fultondale, tore a bunch of stuff. I think it confirmed killed one person over there. So I uh, hope everybody over there is doing, doing well. I have a lot of friends over there. I hadn't talked to anybody yet this morning. I'm going to reach out to some and see. See if they got any damage or or anything like that. We had a uh, incredible amount of rain last night. I I don't know how much rain we got, but it was a it was a lot. The ground is uh is completely saturated, rent, rotten, whatever you want to call it around here. Uh, not working again today. I love the deer hunt. I love it. Uh, I deer hunt a lot different now than what I used to back. Uh, in the late 80s, uh, all through the 90s, early 2000s up to, I guess, probably 07, 08. I kind of transitioned a little bit, and I guess you could say I wasn't near as mad at the deer as I was and prior to that. Um, prior to that, I hunted every day. I mean, when bow season rolled in, I went every day and just... Even turkey season, every day. I never missed a day. I went after work, rolled, um, predominantly most of all my hunting was the preamble to what people are considering uh, what they call saddle hunting now. And I hunted with uh, uh, tree gaffs, uh, tree climbing spikes, and strapped them on. I started in, uh, I got my first set of them in 89, and that's the way I hunted. And so I kind of trans beginning to transition to back to that uh, this year here and doing it a little bit different. Uh, tried some different things. I hadn't showed anything. I've, I've used the, the strap on steps. I've been, the stuff that I went with is along with custom gear, very, very expensive stuff. And uh, using their compact steps with uh, cable aiders and and uh, doing that, and uh, right now, currently using the one, Lone Wolf, the 1.0. Y'all see Jason, he's using a .5 stand is what he's using. And uh, I'm going to transition some more because I want to get it kind of perfected before uh, before I start showing in the video, or videos, which brings me to this right here. Uh, you know, YouTube predominantly frowns on, uh, on the hunting stuff, the killing the animals. And, and I mean, that's understandable. A lot of people don't want to, don't want to see that. I uh, wish there was a, a place for it in YouTube without folks getting attacked by the animal rights people and stuff. But, but it is what it is. I mean, there's more people who love animals out there than who like to shoot them like me. And I like to eat them. Uh, we eat them like crazy, but, so I'm at uh, 99,200 and some subscribers now. That's what I'm at currently. And uh, one of my things that I want to do when I hit uh, 100,000 is I want to start another um, channel and add it to my Cotton Top 3. Uh, currently, I, what, I've been talking to Jill about this a good bit and still hadn't come up with a, with a channel name for it yet. And what I want to do is, is I, I love to hunt so much. I love to film. Oh my gosh. I, I just, y'all just wouldn't believe I love to film. I love a camera. Always have. My granddaddy was a professional photographer and I guess I just got it from him. I want to film everything. I like filming. I love it. And, and so that when I put the hunting stuff in these videos, as long as I do it like I did this video right here, it does not really hurt me. But if I do like a hunting video, it throws the algorithm off and it hurts me a little bit. So I want to do a, I want a, an outdoor related channel. What's going to be kind of my catch all of everything else that I do, whether it's uh, exploring, hunting, or fishing, or anything like that, and put those videos over there. It's not anything that's going to be, you know, posted on consistently. It's going to be kind of a catch all kind of channel where all my chainsaw stuff and equipment stuff will stay on Cotton Top 3. 
and uh, I got some ideas and and so if I put a video over there, I won't be publishing a video on uh, Cotton Top 3 on that day. And so I'll still be putting out a video about it. I wish I could get about, about every day, but I wish I could get out uh, the rhythm of doing it every day. If I could get down to where I was doing it just six days a week where I had a little bit of a break. Because uh, People have no clue to be a successful YouTuber to where you get to where you can um, make a living off of it, that you have no clue what it takes to make it happen. And uh, the things uh, with the, the companies and stuff like that that you see me get, you know, you, you just, it's unbelievable the stuff that you end up uh, going through and have to, uh, have to work and to make all of that stuff happen is just it's just nuts but that's where i want to go in 2021 but I, i'm not going to do it till i hit 100,000 subscribers on cotton top three and then i'll evolve in it'll be more of a channel that will be up and running later later this year as i film and and things like that but you can see the winch work really good the um very happy with that. Made a lot easier on me, man, trying to load them crazy deer because a, a good, heavy, dead deer, man, is, is tough to deal with. But I'm not quite done yet. I can still shoot still um, uh, some more deer. <clears throat> and uh, I am going to take that doe out, that one doe. She is, uh, I've watched her all season, and I just hadn't hadn't shot her yet, but I'm going to. She, she's going to die because uh, she gets down there, she ain't nothing but, uh, but a uh, pain in the butt to the other deer. So I wanna, I'd want to. i like to shoot her while she's up on her hind legs and just smoke her, bam, just get on her and, and take her out, give her a dose of her own medicine, you know what I mean? So uh, y'all let me know what you think down below about another channel. Like I said, it wouldn't be anything it would be consistently posted on. And it's not anything that I'm anticipating going anywhere with. It's just something kind of a catch-all that I can share my hunting adventures with and the other junk that I do and it not mess me up on Cotton Top 3. Because I'm telling you, man, you can make one or two wrong moves and it can throw you off so bad in the algorithm. It is unreal. And it affects the money that you make so bad. I mean, it, it can... Uh, because once you get to a certain point, you know, you got, uh, you have to make sure you keep, you know, everything in check and whatever you like that. But if you got a good idea for a channel name, uh, let me know uh, down below, comment and tell me. Uh, chainsaw glass is coming up. I got one uh, February the 6th and one February the 13th here at my place. It's actually a two day thing of Friday evening on before that. So it'd be the February the 5th and February the uh, 12th that Friday evening and all day that Saturday. And then a uh, big, big three-day saw class coming up in Rome, Georgia in March the 12th through the uh, 14th over there with uh, me, Tim Ard, and David Breeden. If you're interested in any of those classes, my class, a two-day class, is $400 a person. Uh, email me. there. My email's down below. Tell me which class you're interested in. And then the three-day class with... Me and David Breeden and Tim Ard is uh seven hundred fifty dollars over there, and you you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get more information than what you'll get from any of that and what you'll learn from that. So uh, just email me. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.